In this video, we're gonna look at an acoustic amplifier from Van Gogh. So what we have here is a small acoustic amp called the BP40. And we'll go ahead and look at the back of it here. So we have the power on and off, and we have a direct out that you can use to go direct to our mixing board or audio interface. We also have a headphones output. And we have a DC charger that's gonna allow this amplifier to be used five to eight hours of continuous use without having to plug into a wall outlet, which is really, really cool. So if you're playing out in the woods or just in a environment where you're not close to a wall outlet, you can easily use this amp to play your acoustic guitar, plug in a microphone, maybe just play Bluetooth music from your phone or other mobile device. It does have a nine volt DC out and that can be used to power external pedals, maybe like a delay, another reverb, an overdrive. So looking at the speaker itself, we got about an eight inch speaker with a bass port. So this amp does have a nice natural sound. And let's go ahead and look at the top of the unit here. And you can see that we have a line in, two line ins with a reverb setting. And we also have another input with a three band EQ reverb. Then you have an overall volume knob that you can control all three channels with. And then you have the Bluetooth capability. And you also have a USB port so you can charge your phone or other electronic device while you're using the amplifier. And then if you look on the bottom, you have a hole that you can put this on a stand, which I have right here. So I can lift this up, set it on the stand, and I can put that behind me now. You can put it at head level, you can take it off the stand and put it at your feet. It has a nice natural angle to the speaker, so it kind of points up at you as it's sitting on the floor. And it just sounds really good overall. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a guitar and plug it in and you can hear what it sounds like. All right, so I have my acoustic guitar plugged into channel three of the amplifier and I have it EQ'd a little bit so I think it sounds good with my guitar through the amp. And I have a little bit of reverb and I'm actually going out of the DI out into the input of my Zoom Q8 camcorder. So that's going to be capturing the sound of the guitar coming out of the speaker. And I'm going to actually mute the signal of my guitar that is being captured by the camera. So you're only hearing the sound of the amp itself. Okay. So let's go ahead and do some playing. We do have a little bit of reverb on there. So now I'm gonna plug a microphone in to the speaker and we can hear what the microphone sounds like. Check, check, check. Check one, check two. So this is me talking and playing guitar at the same time. I'm not gonna sing because you probably don't wanna hear my singing voice. I think overall it could use some EQ on the vocal. But that can be accomplished by using a mixing board and maybe taking out some low end, maybe some low mids, maybe bringing up the highs. And it would sound really good doing that. But I think just plugging the mic straight in, it's gonna get you a sound, but it's probably not gonna be the best sound that you could have. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna use this amp for vocals, but you primarily wanna use this amp just for acoustic guitar, maybe a line input for a piano or a mandolin, any other line in instrument. All right, so one thing I would say about the microphone input on this amp is I do kinda wish I had a XLR combo jack instead of just a quarter inch input. 
and have those on both the line in inputs and maybe not so much for the channel three input because you don't necessarily need three combo jacks but it would be nice to have that option uh, but i think for the overall price that you're getting this at that's still a great value for the money so what I'm having to do to hook that up, I'm using a TRS cable that has TRS on one end and a XLR on the other. And I'm basically using this as an adapter to go into a longer XLR cable that actually plugs into the microphone itself. So if you don't have one of these, I would suggest picking that up if you're gonna buy one of these amps, okay? Now one thing that I did do here recently was I used this amp as a foldback monitor at church and I was able to take the signal out of the my mix which is an eighth inch and I used an eighth inch to dual mono quarter inch cable and plugged the left side into channel one, the right side into channel two. And then I was able to use the my mix as a mixer to control the level of the drums and the bass and my guitar, the mandolin, the singers, the piano and the organ player. The signal was nice and clear. I can hear the full band really, really well. And the second instance I used this little amp was for a, a stage monitor that I was using with an actual mixing board. And I was just basically running some Spotify music from my computer into the board. And then also using a wireless handheld microphone into the board as well. And I used the left output of that board going to a Headrush 108 speaker. And then I used the right output of the mixing board into one of the line ends on the acoustic amp so that way I had a good stage left monitor and a stage right monitor and music sounded great on the stage and the vocal was nice and clear. So if you want a little extra functionality and maybe some extra EQ, you can easily have two of these speakers as a stage monitor and still have the Bluetooth capability as well if you wanted to. So speaking of Bluetooth, let's go ahead and take a look at that and see how the music sounds playing through the speaker itself. All right, so now I have my phone and I'm gonna pair my phone to the speaker so I can actually play music through it. So what you have to do is you have to go over here and you have to press the mode button. And when you hold it down, you're gonna hear the sound. So now I'm gonna go to Bluetooth and it's gonna search for my devices here. Let me turn off the Bluetooth. So you can see cool music there on the screen and it is connected. So all I'm gonna do now is just go to YouTube and maybe look up a uh, backing track or something we can play along with. All right, and then when you're done, you can just push the button again and it turns the Bluetooth off. So it's really simple to connect a phone or a tablet to the amplifier itself. So going over a few of the features here that I like about it is it's super small, it's very lightweight, it only comes in at 16 pounds, which it doesn't even feel like it's that much, but it's very, very light. The amp is 40 watts, so you have plenty of volume that you can use for a lot of different musical situations, especially practicing here at the house, or like I said, if you wanna play music out in an outdoor environment, then you can easily do that. The website does say it takes about five hours to fully charge the amplifier itself, but once it is fully charged, you can use this for five to eight hours, depending on how loud you push the volume. And I don't know about you, but five to eight hours is a pretty long time. If you felt like you needed to charge it up a little bit more, then you can easily do that while you sleep at night. And when you're ready for the amp in the morning, it is fully charged and ready to go. Thanks for checking out my review here on Amazon. And if you like what you see, go ahead and click on the link in the description so you can buy the amp for yourself. I have recently reviewed other products from the Van Gogh Company. And so far, all of them have been really high quality and sound great. So you can have confidence when you're buying this amp that you're going to get a good quality product 
So I am Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.